I'm going to talk about session-based test management. This is a great effective way to organize your exploratory testing. But first, I think it's important to distinguish between exploratory testing and ad hoc testing. So ad hoc testing is just testing with no direction. You're not thinking about what you're doing. You're kind of just reacting. Whereas exploratory testing uh, involves simultaneous learning, test design, and test execution at the same time. Now let's dive into what session-based test management is. Session-based testing aims to combine accountability and exploratory testing to provide rapid defect discovery, creative on-the-fly test design, management control, and metrics reporting. Now, I find that as a tester, testers spend a lot of time doing other activities that are not actually testing. And session-based test management aims to capture this. So if you were to think about how you spend your day, you spend time uh, setting up test data, um, you spend time um, setting up your test environment, um, you know, the preconditions, you spend time um, writing up bug reports, you spend time uh, talking to stakeholders, but there's actually a limited amount of time that you spend focused on, um, say, a software under test and actively investigating it, actively trying to find out what the state is. Now, session-based test management aims to clearly show how you are spending your time. Now, in this video, um, I'm not going to give go into all the details uh, of session-based test management. I would, however, like to show how you can get started. So I'm going to break it down into three parts. The first would be creating a mission. This is a very important skill that you need to know. The second would be um, things to keep in mind during the test session. And lastly, debriefing. Let's start off with creating a mission. You need to create a mission. Now, a test mission gives you direction. And what I find very helpful about creating a mission is that it gives you direction, so it kind of limits the scope of what you're going to be testing or what you're going to be thinking of, but at the same time, uh, it gives you freedom, so you're not just checking for something. Uh, you have some freedom to explore, to experiment. A great way to structure uh, your mission creation is with the format of my mission is to test and insert risk here, for insert coverage here. Now I'm going to share some examples. My mission is to test boundary values in registration forms. My mission is to test ba basic link validation in the home page. In the description box below, I'm going to share some links on how you can read more on how to create a mission. Now let's get into uh, what to do and what to think of during uh, the test session itself. Test session itself, you're going to be keeping note of a few things. First, you're going to keep note of how much time you spend on charter versus how much time you spend off charter. That is, how much time are you spending actively um, pursuing the mission? So, uh, for example, um, focusing on boundary values versus when you are diving deeper and looking into other things, it doesn't always make sense to be strict and keep to charter. So you want to uh, keep track of when you are going off charter. The second thing to keep note of is um, questions that come up. Um, chances are, as you go, um, you, you're going to think of some things that you'd like to um, find out later. And instead of um, going off and um, getting sidetracked, you can just take note, park it, and then continue. Another thing that uh, is good to keep track of is um, is notes. So um, take note of what you did, take note of your findings, um, um, any potential bugs that need to be investigated. Uh, you do want to keep track of what you're doing. Lastly, you want to debrief. Now, this is where you share with someone uh, your findings. 
a, a great way to structure your debriefing is to use proof. Past, what happened during the session, results, what was achieved during the session, outlook, what still needs to be done, obstacles, what got in the way of good testing, and lastly, feeling, how does the tester feel at all about all this? One thing I'd really like to share now is a tool I found, or I guess um, a Google sheet, which can be a great starting point to someone who wants to get started with session-based test management, or even someone who already has some experience, but is looking for um, a helpful template 